Hey everyone, so in this video, we are going to learn about how to create auto share social media buttons. So what does that mean is you must have seen the auto share buttons, right? Like social media buttons like WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, where you can just click on it and then it will create an automatic post for you. And thus you just click on the share button and it get it gets shared to your profile, right? So different different websites uses this technique and we will going to learn how to create that thing in the in javascript right how does that thing work and it's pretty simple it's basic basic javascript is required for that so let me first show you the example to understand it more clearly that what i am talking about and how to create it so the uh, let's look what i am talking about let's take the example so you must you all must have used the in shorts app and if you see there, every article has a share button. If you click on the share button, it will give you some options that where do you want to share that article, whether on WhatsApp or Instagram stories or anything. Then you let's take, you click on the WhatsApp button and you choose it to share your any of your friends or, or relatives, right? Then you just click on it. So after that, what you will see, it will create in the text box of the WhatsApp, it will create an automatic, it will create an automatic link plus the message like downloads the InShot app, it's the number one app, all these, but it created automatically. You did not, you, you did not provide the link, right? You did not write any other message. It created automatically. And we just have to press the uh, send button to send it to your relative friends, etc. Et so we will learn to create, we will learn in this video how to create that effect. And just on clicking on the share button, it will create an automatic post, right? It will create an automatic post, whether it's link or a message, it will create that automatically and you just have to click on the post or send button so that it get posted or shared to your profile. So let's dig into it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Okay, so let's look into the another example. If I take it to your my website, which is questiongen.tech and if I take it to the um, to my portfolio section, you can see there are projects, right? And if, if I am over it, it will show you three buttons here. One is of the link where you can check this out project, like the source code, and other is the share button. So what I have created it like, if you click on this, it will automatically create a post on the Twitter with the link of the link of the GitHub profile where I have created this project, and and plus the message check this check this amazing project, right? So this is the auto created post like I have not written here any URL I have not written this message it automatically creates this post and I, what I have to do just now is just click on the tweet button and it will get shown it to my profile so we will learn this how to create this if I show it to you you want project to if I click on it so it will do the same thing it will just create our automatic share automatic post right another example what I have done is uh, if I show it in the mobile view right so I have created a WhatsApp button. Like if you click on the WhatsApp and if you just write here and hit hello. So what it will do on clicking on the send button, it will take it to the, it will directly send this message to me, right? So how to create this thing, how to create these auto button, share buttons. We will look the example. We will look in this video, right? Okay, so right now I'm in the VS code and let's look how to create this. Before before creating, before telling you the concept, let me first create the uh, UI where I will provide the buttons WhatsApp and Twitter. Okay, so it will take me hardly uh, 15 to 20 minutes to create that UI. So I will meet you after the creating that UI. Okay, so we are back and I have created these two social media buttons. One is the WhatsApp and one is the uh, or Twitter. And let's see how it looks. So it looks this it's look like this and it's a pretty good ui pretty simple ui okay now let's come on the main thing which is how to create them now on clicking both of these nothing is happening now let's create the auto share button on clicking these it will create an automatic post for you right okay so i have provided here two uh, classes whatsapp and twitter now let's move on to the js file and let's create now let's link them so i have i will write here constant uh, WhatsApp, right? Now we select document that file set up. Inside that, I will provide 
dot website. And I will make same for the Twitter button. So constant Twitter document dot file selector and So let me explain you what these two lines means. What it will do, it will select the element from the document which is having the class dot WhatsApp. And we use query selector to select the class, right? You must have seen the document dot get elemented by ID. It selects the element of the document from the ID, but using query selector, it will select the element from the document having the class dot WhatsApp. So here we have class this WhatsApp, so it will select this area and auditor, it will select this. Right, so we have connected this, this board and now let's add an event listener to both these buttons. So if I create WhatsApp dot add event listener and if I perform a click function, right, and then arrow. So I'm picking this. It should give the message that I have, now what I have done here is this, I have added an event dot listener to this whatsapp button. So if I click this, in console I should get this, right, it, yeah you have clicked this button. So we have done this just to check, make sure whether our whatsapp button is correctly linked or not. So if I go to console and if I just click on it, so yeah it says whatsapp button click. Now let's create the same for the twitter button, copy this and paste, now let's add here twitter. So it also says, it say click, click one. Now it also says that you have clicked one and if I click on the WhatsApp, click. So these both are working correctly. So we have just connected them by using the document that file selector uh, uh, and the other classes. And then just we have added the uh, event listener of the click function using the click function. Now let's move on to the main part. What, how we will create those things, right? So I have already added some uh, these APIs. Now, first let me make here something like page URL and here I will provide let's say location dot href right and then constant sorry then constant message Let's say, hey, check this out, right? Now, what we will do? So every social media platform provides an API to create a universal link, just like WhatsApp has given us this. So WhatsApp, WhatsApp provides this API, not, which is this. And what it says to create a link with just a pre-filled message, what I have said previously, how to create this. So what WhatsApp provides its API to create a pre-filled message and we, we will use this API. This is the main thing, this is the main concept we are going to use. So if I write here, uh, WhatsApp, constant, let's make a new one, constant and say WhatsApp API, let's paste this. Uh, Right. So I have just pasted it and this is the thing, right? this is the, for the WhatsApp API. Now just like how WhatsApp gave us this API, Twitter also gave, gave us this API. So we can go to the developer platform and we can go to the Twitter for websites and then in the embedded buttons we can use this API. So if I just find it here, you can use this type API. Right, just copy this. And let's make a new uh, constant, constant Twitter API. And let's paste this. Right now, how to how to link them in this event or add listener? So in this thing inside of text, we will provide how to how to use that. How, like what is the URL we are going to? use in those pre-filled messages and what is the message we are going to use in those pre-filled text area. 
So remove the remove the thing which I have let me show you again. After the text is equal to URL of coded text, remove this thing, right? And now let's uh, use right and that's right here page URL. Right. Now I have to, to add message again, do the same thing, which is and just write here uh, message. Right. The same for the Twitter also. Do this for the Twitter. Right. Just copy this and paste it here. Let me tell you one thing what location.href will do. Location will location.href will return return the URL of this code. Right. So if I just if I write on this code uh, location dot hr hr e hr e f. So what it will provide it is providing it is returning me to the URL of this currently deleted website. Right. So we have we are using that only. So We have created both the WhatsApp API, Twitter API. Now we will use this. On clicking on this button, it will take us to the WhatsApp window, and it will provide. It will create an automatic post where the page URL will go and the message will go. So just we will use window object that is window dot open, right? And then inside it, we will provide the URL, URL, and we will just give the What's the idea? Right, and then target is equal to black. Right, so let's check this whether it's working or not. So if I click on the WhatsApp, yeah, so it's taking it to the uh, WhatsApp and it's providing the same index which, which it was providing me. It, it is providing me the index of the index having the right here. So it right now if you if you try this on mobile, it will take you to the WhatsApp and it will give you the option to share this to this any other person. So it automatically share this, it automatically create this URL in the text form in your text box. Right? Let's make this for Twitter also. Let's copy this. Right? And let's paste this here and in sort of so in, just instead of WhatsApp API, we have used Twitter API. So if I just click on the Twitter, uh, it's same. Okay, yeah, so it's because I have, yeah, now it should work. So yeah, it's taking me to the, and as you can see, it automatically creates the project having the link of the any of that location uh, of that uh, URL of the page we have just created. Now, if you don't want to provide any other, if you don't want to provide the location of HREF, and if you can provide you can provide any other URL in this page or URL. So if I just go to my website and if I copy copy that copy this right, and if I just paste it here, let me inside it. Right. So what it will do? It will now, it will now automatically create a post having this link. Right. So if I just again go to this and if I click on the Twitter button, so it, it, it will create a and as you can see, now it is now it had created a post automatically create the post having the link this of the of my website plus the message. Okay, check this out. So yeah, this is the concept. This is the uh, 15 line codes of the uh, JavaScript. And it's pretty simple. And in this, we have just uh, used the HTML, basic HTML and CSS to make this make this page. The main the main concept was the using the constant WhatsApp API and Twitter API, which both these platforms provide us to automatically create a pre-filled auto share buttons, right? And then we we have just added the it it in the uh, event listener of the WhatsApp and Twitter. So this is it about the project. So I hope you like this video and if you do like it, please leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel. If you really like this concept, share it to your friends, right? And I will meet you in the next video with a new concept, with a new amazing concept, which will improve your front-end developing skills. So yeah, goodbye.